What's up guys, c 13 here, and today we're going to be unboxing the E-Element Z88 Mechanical Gaming Keyboard. Alright guys, so this is the box that the E-Element Z88 RGB Mechanical Keyboard comes in. Now the title is way longer than that. And I'm gonna spare you that all and just let you know that this is the blue switch version and uh, the front of the box of course says something like e Yusu. not sure what that is but maybe that's the original manufacturing brand and then they just go with e element because it's a little bit easier to say but anyway the reason I bought this thing is actually for my iPad Pro now that might seem like a weird combination but as long as you've got some sort of USB-C to USB-A adapter like I got right here, it's going to plug and play just fine. And the reason is ultimately, I initially, when I got my iPad Pro, I also got one of these smart keyboard folios. And I got to say, I almost dropped my iPad several different times and this would have offered zero protection. Because as you know, the iPad just sits on top with magnets and there's zero side protection whatsoever. And while I've never seriously dropped any tablet I've ever owned, just the thought of some, something as thin and bendable as the 2018 iPad dropping from any height is uh, that last nightmare inducing. And then not to mention, right, this keyboard is not backlit and the travel is terrible and it just has a very spongy feeling. You know, and, and to me, that's the, that's the deal breaker is the spongy feeling and the no backlight. And at the end of the day, whenever I was using a keyboard, I kind of found that I was in a situation either at a desk or somewhere that I could sit down an actual regular keyboard. And so there was no reason for me to have it attached to my case that also didn't really protect my iPad very much. So that's why I ended up going with this, the Subcase Unicorn Beetle Pro. This thing is super rugged. It's got a highly stiff back. And as you can see, it almost eliminates body flex and it has an awesome spot for the Apple Pencil. So let's go ahead and get into this unboxing now that I've given you the whole backstory. This thing is one of the cheapest mechanical keyboards that I could find that was in this ultra compact layout. Again, for some people, they're gonna hate this because it doesn't have separated arrow keys. They ha It has unique individual arrow keys, but they are sort of incorporated into the body of keys. So you'll see what I mean in a second. So this includes some extras here too. Uh, it includes extra key switches, which is pretty cool. That means they're replaceable. So I really do like that. Uh, a key removal tool, and I, yeah, I think that's it. And then it, oh, and it comes with, okay, it comes with the actual key switch removal tool as well. So it comes with the key cap and the key switch removal tools and five extra key switches. So that's pretty cool. I've, I've bought more expensive mechanical keyboards before that didn't come with those extras. So we've got a manual here. This side's Chinese, this side, oh, okay, well, hold on one second. Let's see if there's any English in here. Oh, okay, this, there is English, it's on the inside. So you can see here, it just talks about the product installations, plug and play, blah, blah, blah. It talks about your function combinations here. It also talks, let's see, multimedia keys, okay. It doesn't seem to mention anything about backlights. All right, here we go, backlight switching. I don't know if you wanna read that, I'll just put that on screen for you. But let's go ahead and take a look at the keyboard. So there it is. So as you can see, that's pretty compact. You know, if we compare it to the Smart Folio case, it's not exactly that much wider, but it offers such a better typing experience. And again, like I said, I've never found myself in a situation where I was out and about and I had to use a keyboard. If I was in a place that I wanted to type, it was always at a desk or some flat surface. So that's a very nice key feel. The keycaps are nice as well. I don't know what style keycaps these are. I'm gonna pull one off and see. It does appear to be a double shot keycap, so that's good too. You're not gonna wear through the paint on the top layer or anything like that, so that's good. And uh, why don't we go ahead and try it out? Because we've got a few media keys here and I just wanna see how they're all gonna play with the iPad because sometimes keyboards are gonna work weird with iOS. Now you can see your arrow key layout right over here. Uh, on iOS, the command key ends up being the Windows key, so it's unfortunate that that's not where Alt is because I'm more used to that layout, but not a big deal. I can get used to that. So let's go ahead and plug it in and see what we get. 
All right, got the iPad here. Gonna hook up the keyboard. All right, as you can see, the keyboard is now lit up. And it seems like it's cycled through a few of the different colors. And now we've got our sort of wavy breathing. I'm not exactly sure what they would call that mode, but so we wanna switch different backlight modes. We're gonna hit function and page down. One second, page down. So that's a different mode right there. That's a different mode. That's a pretty neat mode as well. Again, I like these modes. They look pretty cool if you're, you know, you're just looking at your desk setup, but when you're actually typing, you kind of just want consistent lighting so you can see what you're doing. Um, there's that, so you've got different rows. And that's just a breathing through the different colors again. I wonder if you can get through some solid colors. I don't know if it'll do that. So that's off. That's this mode. Okay, that's interesting. And that's that same setup again. So I'm not sure that you can actually get solid colors. Let's see, backlight speed. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not seeing any options for just a standard solid color. So you might not be able to do that. I'm not sure, but I'm not seeing any option for just a straight up standard color. So, but those are all your different modes and you do that with function and page down. It says if you wanna adjust the speed of any of the different modes, then you do function left or right arrow key. So if you wanna go faster or slower. And then if you do function up or down, that gives you brighter or lower. So you can see when it flashes, we've reached the max. So we go down, it dims it out. So that's the max there. But anyway, I'm not complaining. This mode is fine by me. It's a nice effect with the rainbow. And also, all the keys are always illuminated so I can actually see what I'm doing. So I'm not complaining there. I don't know if you guys can see that. The deck is a solid plastic. It's got two rubber feet. And they, they come out nicely there. It actually is micro USB. And it's got sort of a captive cable spot. So once you get it in there, you can just layer it in there so the keyboard sits totally flat. And then... Oh yeah, also before I let you guys go, I'm gonna see how this thing performs with iOS. Cause I honestly don't know. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up notes. So I've, I've got notes open right here. So typing is standard. Numbers all work. Let's see how these media keys work. So yeah, the media keys don't seem to be doing anything. Maybe I have to hit function for that. All right, there you go. You can see my volume slider is going up and down, so function does work for that. The mute also works. Let's see if play works. Yep, starts playing music. And let's check if the home function works. No, that doesn't work. And I don't think the calculator does anything. Let's see search. Aha, search brings up spotlight. And uh, sorry if you guys can't see that, the search button's over here, so you just hit function up here, F12 is search, and it brings up spotlight search. So that's pretty cool. Um, it's not exactly custom made for <laughs> iOS, but it works just fine, and because it's got a few media keys, they do play well with iOS. Let's check out how our shortcuts work. So to go home, if I wanna go home, and of course we know that the F10 uh, function home function doesn't work with this keyboard with iOS, but there is a shortcut, which is Command H. So if we hit Windows, which is Command, you'll see that the commands show up right here. That's specific to notes, but the command for going home is Command H, and bam, the device just went home. So the iPad goes home. So honestly, uh, don't go out there and spend a ton of money if you're looking for just a basic keyboard to play well with an iPad or an iOS device because any keyboard is gonna work just fine. Uh, iOS generally plays well with any keyboard. You'll just have to realize that if it's a Windows keyboard, chances are the Windows key will be your command key equivalent. But anyway, guys, that's pretty much it. That's been my first look at the E-Element Z88 RGB mechanical keyboard. Now, if you liked the video, I'd appreciate it if you gave me a like. If you have any questions, comments, or if you have one of these and you wanna tell me about it, be sure to leave that below. And if you wanna see more, be sure to get subscribed.